Are you guys ready for the tea? All right, so I have been out of college for three years now and I graduated with my Bachelor of Music degree in clarinet performance. So I'm aware music is one of those degrees where people usually ask you, can you actually make a living off of it? And you've probably heard that it's really a gamble and it's very risky. So I'm here to answer the ultimate question. Was my music degree worth it? All right, that's a bit better. <laughs> okay, I have my laptop behind you to look at notes, just so I'm able to give you guys full detailed information. So I'm gonna be breaking down the video in six different categories. First, the useful skills I gained after college. Second, the jobs I obtained after college. Third, my biggest regret. Fourth, what I'm doing now. Fifth, advice slash career opportunities. And finally, at the end of the video, I'll be answering the burning question, was my music degree worth it? And do I think that it was worth it? Okay, first, skills that I learned while I'm in college. So I think it's important for me to highlight kind of skills that I learned in college that I've been able to apply to my life after college. So the first component I wanted to talk about was the skills that I learned in music school. So the first thing that I wanted to mention, which is quite obvious, was I was able to become a very good musician. So in music school, obviously you take all these classes in order to enhance your skills. So for me, you know, I was taking private lessons, I was taking, um, you know, like chamber ensemble courses, and I was in my large ensemble, I took pedagogy classes. So I was able to really learn so many things about my instrument and I was able to grow tremendously as a musician. You know, along with that, I had to take music theory, I had to take piano, I had to take, you know, sight singing and all of these components. I really feel like I was prepared and became a very well-rounded, on top of becoming a very well-rounded musician, I was able to learn valuable skills such as coping with performance anxiety, which is something I was so bad at. And I was also able to learn how to take criticism because that is so important as a musician is to take criticism. And that's something that I've been able to apply, you know, in my professional life, after college and you know whenever a supervisor or someone is like you need to grow in this area I'm like okay I don't take it personal <laughs> music school really helped me take criticism and actually like crave criticism of how I can become better and better at what I do so the second set of skills I want to talk about is the skills that I obtained just being in college and through my job um, as a university student recruiter so just a bit of a spoiler, one of the best decisions that I made for myself while being in college was obtaining a part-time job on campus. So I was a student recruiter in our university admissions office, and through that role, I was able to gain so many valuable skills. We're talking about data entry, public speaking, um, phone etiquette, customer service, and just all of this work experience I've been able to apply on my resume. Plus, I was crazy involved with clubs and activities in school. So for example, I was in a music sorority, I was in an honorary, I was in student government, um, I taught private lessons, and I even volunteered every couple of weeks to go to a school where I would teach trumpet lessons to students with autism. So you could imagine with all of these experiences and all these things I was involved with in college, I've been able to take what I've learned and add those onto my resume. Cause I'm telling you, these are very, very useful experiences and very valid experiences that have prepared me for life outside of college. Okay, now we're on to point number two, the jobs that I obtained after graduation. So I wanna give a little disclaimer. This has been my personal experience. And one thing, if you're gonna take anything out of this video is that every single person's journey is gonna look different. Every single person's priority is gonna look different. Every single, everyone's different, okay? But I'm just gonna share with you what I did right after I graduated. So like I mentioned earlier, I graduated in 2020 at the peak of COVID-19. Um, so what happened though with how everything worked out is I ended up getting married to my husband and I ended up moving out of my hometown to teach elementary music. And I taught elementary music for two years. Also, I'm sorry, you keep seeing my hand back and forth. <laughs> But anyway, I taught general elementary music for two years. So the first year was about completely online and then the second year was in person. Um, so for me, it was very important getting a full-time job after graduation, you know, because I just got married, you have to pay bills and all of these things. 
Um, and I'm very, very thankful for the time that I had as a teacher. So I'll be honest with you, I quickly found out that teaching wasn't for me. Again, I'm very thankful for the time that I had, but I wanted to do something else. So after that, what I decided to do was I decided to kind of look for a job similar to the job that I had when I was a student worker at my university where I obtained my undergrad degree. So after I left teaching, I started to work at a university as an admissions advisor. So that's what I did after that role. And then I started to create content, you know, like for TikTok and things like that. So that has kind of been my journey so far. So it's important to note that right after graduation, especially during COVID-19, there were no performances going on. The whole world was shut down, but for me, it was important to obtain a job. So right after graduation, I had wanted to obtain a job and it was my goal and it still is a goal to have a full-time job where I'm able to sustain myself, but on the side, be able to practice still enhance my skills and in order to, you know, eventually make performance a full-time career one of these days. Okay, this leads perfectly to our next point. What am I doing now? So I am still a university admissions advisor. I work remotely from home. And one thing I do wanna note is I'm very thankful that I got the experience from my undergrad working in admissions. So as you can kind of see, that skill that I learned from having that part-time job really helped me into my, you know, adult to real world life because I was able to put those skills on my resume and I was offered this role because I had prior experience. So I love this job so much. I work from home, I could pick my hours and it's really flexible, which allows me, you know, during the evenings to practice and prepare for my one day, hopefully performance career. Another thing that I'm doing right now is I'm actually obtaining my master's degree in public administration online. So it is through the university that I work at and I'm so fortunate that I'm able to do this. So for me, another priority is to enhance my professional skills um, in order to find a full-time job to sustain myself temporarily as on the side, you know, I'm still practicing, I'm still, you know, trying to refine my craft as a musician. Um, so for me, it was just really important to kind of, you know, strengthen my professional skills to, you know, just keep moving up and to learn more. And plus, I just, I love school so much. So I just wanted to do a master's degree. Another thing I'm doing is I just took on an arts administration slash social media internship. Um, I'm still taking private lessons with a teacher, like I said, to enhance my skills as a clarinetist. And the good thing about having my full-time job is, you know, I'm able to afford lessons and I'm able to, you know, continue to do this as a comfortable side thing. Again, temporary side thing, hopefully. Um, and then I also perform in a community ensemble for the Los Angeles community. So I'm still performing, I'm still playing, and this has just been my journey so far and what I'm doing. Now, my biggest regret. So this might be an unpopular opinion, but my biggest regret from music school slash college is that I wish I gained more experience outside of music. So for example, I dedicated so much time, you know, practicing, wanting to get good grades and wanting to, you know, be the best musician as possible, which I don't regret at all. But in a way, I kind of wish I had gained more experience outside of music. So for example, I've been really into social media like these last, you know, five years or so. And when I was in college, I really wish I took on some sort of social media internship to learn more skills there. I wish I'd taken maybe like a marketing class. I just wish I had gained more skills outside of music to add on to my resume now because after college, applying for jobs, it's just really good to have other skills outside of music, especially if you don't plan to, you know, perform right away or anything like that. All right, here is my advice if you want to pursue a music degree or a music career. And again, this may be unpopular opinions, but this is just my two cents, okay? This is what, based off of my experiences so far. The first thing, it is not an easy career. Okay, let me say that again. It is not an easy career. If you're motivated, it's 100% possible though. So here in Los Angeles, I've had the privilege of meeting so many wonderful musicians, so many wonderful people. Um, and I've met people who have done this 
for a living. So they have, you know, played in clubs, they've played for movie soundtracks, they've played for the actual movies, and I've met others who have played for, you know, famous musicians and others who have made it and they've performed in professional orchestras. Another piece of advice if you were to study music is to get involved. Get involved in some sort of club, some sort of activity, um, gain leadership positions, like do anything that you can in order for your resume to look bomb for after graduation. And again, I'm talking about these things outside of music. So if you want a concerto competition, that is awesome. But also you would want to put other skills to kind of prepare you for the real world. You know what I'm talking about? And I also think everyone should prepare for the worst case scenario. It was just one of those things like, what if you can't get a job playing right after you graduate? Like I know I wasn't able to, there was a pandemic happening. <laughs> um, but what if you're not able to get a performance job right after you graduate? What skills have you learned? What internships have you done? What student worker positions have you done in order to put those skills on your resume to prepare for if you cannot perform right after you graduate? Because most likely you won't be able to. But here are some options for after graduation if you were to pursue a music degree. So you could continue your education, you could go on to pursue your master's degree. I know there's some online courses, you know, if you're like Berkeley and stuff, you could teach music, you could create a business, you know, you're able to offer private lessons, create your own studio, uh, teach online classes and things you're really passionate about because you gain a lot of skills in school and you're able to kind of teach those to other people. Um, you could prepare for auditions, arts administration, you know, you could even do anything, you could do anything. So now my answer to the ultimate question, was my music degree worth it? I would say 100% yes. And you're probably like, Julie, you're crazy. But no, I'm telling you like the skills that I learned from school, from the combination between my music degree and the other skills that I obtained while I was in college, I have no regrets especially because I am thankful that I've been able to set myself up where I am not playing right now. I am not making this out of a career yet. And that is the key concept is yet. And I am aware this is gonna take time, especially me. I was never the strongest player, but I am very, very passionate about this. And if you're passionate about it, I just know that you'll be able to do it too. So there you have it. I think my music degree was 100% worth it. And again, I know that I am not performing right now. I know I'm not doing this as a career and I do not make a comfortable living yet. But I'm telling you friend, if this is something you're very passionate about, you're willing to be patient, you're willing to put in the work, you are willing to make music your career, I just know deep down like you'll be able to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. I would be more than happy to help you. I really wish that I had more of an idea of this, you know, when I was 17, trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life and just know that it is possible, okay? So I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.